everyone, it's April here and for today's video I'm going to be making this sketchbook spread into a sticker sheet. So thanks to Liz from Liz VR for the idea. The first thing I did was uh, scan the sketchbook into my computer. So this does have a spiral bound which means that I had to kind of squish it on the side so it wasn't so uh, blurry. So you can see here it's quite blurry so this is the first take. And then the second time around I had to like really smush down on that paper to get it to scan in nicely. And then once I got it scanned in I did this little trick that I like to do where you take away the background. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff I do have a vlog which kind of turned into a tutorial. I'll leave it in the link below, it shows you how I edit all of my prints. So I did a very similar technique for this, I took away the background, then I brought back the foreground with a mask and then I kind of tied it up a little bit with the paintbrush there, just bringing back some of the artwork. So the biggest problem for these uh, little stickers was that none of them were straight. Obviously I did them all by hand, just by eye, and as you can see I'm bringing the ruler in in Photoshop here and nothing is lining up. So I'm going to use this first little mailbox as an example of how I edited the mailboxes. I basically just used a whole bunch of different techniques including um, selecting, rotating different parts, using the magic select brush, I'm not quite sure what it's called but it's the one where you um, like, I don't know, I'll put a picture on the screen because I can't remember what it's called. And then I also use the clone tool and just a whole lot of like just painting and copying different parts of the image. And it was very time consuming, it took a long time. I thought, hey, I'll just pop them to Photoshop, I'll tidy these little mailboxes up, print them out, bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle, Babby's your aunt, be done in two hours. It wasn't. It took about five hours to edit these mailboxes and about halfway through I thought, you know what, I could redraw these faster but um, I kept to it and I think the finished product looks quite cool. It did take a long time but I did still manage to keep all of the hand-drawn kind of style and it still looks like the sketchbook just a lot neater which I thought was uh, kind of what I was going for so I was happy with that and yeah just having a grand old time I think I watched about six episodes of cheer on Netflix while I was doing this and then I'm just speeding up this second little post box so you can kind of see me zooming along and editing it a little bit. If you do want to know kind of more how I do this and I can go through like a step-by-step -step process if you guys uh, want to do this for your own pictures, maybe if you have some hand-drawn stuff and you want to tidy it up a little bit and if you have Photoshop because I don't I don't use another program so I wouldn't know how to do it in a different program, uh, let me know and I will do another tutorial because I know that this is like zooming in super fast I'm not really explaining anything, but I didn't want it to be a tutorial, I wanted it to be more of a kind of, um, this is how I made these stickers, and unfortunately, making them all neat and tidy was a big part of the process, so I thought I'd include a little bit of it, but I hope it's not too boring for you guys, because it is just literally me editing a mailbox. One of the things I had to think about when I was editing was which parts do I want to keep and which parts do I want to remove. So in the end I removed all the little lines, uh, you can see there's little black lines there that I kind of use as texture, and I also removed all of the text, and then I decided to put that back in in Procreate because I thought that would be a little bit neater and I can kind of make it a little bit tidier, so that's what I did. So now they are all finished and you can see I'm flipping between the old one and the new one and you can see there's a massive difference. They still look hand drawn but obviously they look a lot neater. I took this image, saved it out, brought it into Procreate and I finished it off in Procreate. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a blurred out image to get the colour values and then I'm just kind of picking the colours that I liked and making a new colour palette. one of the things I really love about the iPad is that you have that split screen there. So I've got my reference on the left hand side which I used for my video last week to draw out all these little post boxes and then on the right hand side I'm just kind of like going in, scribbling things down, adding little details, um, letters, things like that. I did go through all the pencils in Procreate and I chose the 6B pencil because that was the most like the pencil I was using in real life which were the Polychromos pencils. And yeah, just I didn't want to put too much detail in with Procreate because I didn't want it to look too digital. I wanted it to kind of still keep 
that hand drawn feel. So I just added in the text, um, some highlights at the end there, which you can see, and this is it finished. So I added in all the little lines again, some little bit of texture, and I think it kind of polishes it all together. Is that a thing? Polishes? I think it uh, brings it all together and it looks polished, so I was really happy with how it turned out in Procreate. Then comes the worst of the worst, uh, putting it into Cricut, which is a nightmare. I still haven't come to terms with my Cricut. I still don't like it very much, but I got there in the end. I'm using this uh, white matte paper, which I'm using for the first time. Step one uh, is complete. I have printed out the stickers. I think they look pretty cute. So now let's see if the Cricut is gonna Cricut them. Okay, so they peel off really nicely. Um, you can probably see there the line is a little bit over, but we can fix that. For a first go, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And then I did actually spend another couple of hours fixing it up, so I did get it to print out and cut normally. So you can see like the lines are a little bit more even, so there's like a proper little sticker sheet, so that's pretty cute. But um, that was just a quick look at how I made my first sticker sheet and that is all for today's video. So I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.